Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of the day it is in your particular part of the world. I'm Melanie and I'm back today with another pick a card reading. <clears throat> it's very early in the morning, uh, still dark. Oh, uh, I've been feeling sort of quite depleted over this new moon period. Um, yesterday I felt so sort of low. Um, so I put some meditation music on, uh, I went to bed early, um, I was listening to subliminals in my sleep and I've woken feeling refreshed and that all is right in the world. I've been umming and ahhing about what to call this reading because I do feel uh, there's a massive energy of change around so I was playing around with titles to do with change. And getting myself all tied up and so I decided I'll make it really early, it really easy on myself and just call it a brief message from spirit. What do you need to know right now? So there are three piles. All piles are a mix of oracle and tarot and all have the same cards in them but I've jumbled them up a little bit so I might change the order when I lay them out just to give you uh, a different card to lead you in. So pile number one, you have this purple and orange card with a little tiny amethyst chip. Pile number two, you have this green card with a tiny tiny piece of smoky quartz and pile number three you have this tiny little blue chip I'm not sure if it's a, a blue lace agate or not with this blue card <clears throat> uh, both these chips were on a wand that I made and I actually decided that I wanted the wand to be far more natural, so I took the chips of crystal off. So they're, they're quite powerful because I chose them pretty carefully to put onto the wand. Anyway, I digress. So, choose your pile, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and I shall meet you, oops, at your reading. Hello, pile number one. If you chose this purple card, then this is your reading. Um, please remember to like, share and subscribe. The channel is growing slowly, slowly. I am still doing my free read giveaway of a free reading of your choice when I reach 500 subscribers. I'm about 90 off. So, Please leave me a comment, drop me a heart below in the box, then I'll have your name and your details. And when I reach 500, I will choose a subscriber at random, not particularly from the reading web that where I hit 500 um, and I will notify you and you will be in with the chance of winning. Uh, it'd be helpful if you followed me or liked me on Facebook uh, as the batshit side chick. That way um, I can make sure of doing the announcement and make sure that the reading reaches you. Okay, purple pile. This is your reading. Now then, how did I lay them out? Like this. Okay, I'm going to start actually with your card, so let's do that. You have purple and orange on the back, you've mainly got purple and orange here and in the introduction I was talking about the energies of change in the air at the moment and you have the butterfly uh, which is a symbol of transformation and it says be ready to transform with wisdom. 
So I think a message from spirit right now is get ready for um, an upgrade, a transformation, a rebirth actually. And I'm going to use the word re because you've got reconnect as your next card. So a butterfly isn't born a butterfly. It has to go through some painful change and transformation, metamorphosis in the goo to emerge. So I think you may have been feeling quite stuck, quite stagnant. Um, and the first message from Spirit is that you're going to upgrade. I love that it's not just be ready to transform, but it's be ready to transform with wisdom. So I, I do think that you're going up a level. Um, you may be receiving downloads. You may be feeling more psychically connected, more intuitive, more knowing. But this is a re-emergence. So you've been here before, I think, and when you feel this release, it's going to be an ah, because you've had that feeling before. Like I said in the introduction, I was feeling absolutely dreadful yesterday for no discernible reason. I was aware that we were close to a new moon. I don't sleep particularly well near a new moon. It was a new moon in Pisces, which is my own sign. It's highly emotional. So I went with the feelings. And when I opened my eyes this morning at about half past three, quarter to four, the feeling of relief that that heaviness was gone. And I've got a feeling that this is how you might feel. Possibly this is my pile, I don't know. I didn't consciously choose a pile. Next card, and I moved them, it, you've got reconnect with Mother Earth. But if you look, you've also got butterflies and moths on this card. It's the, the, the green haired woman that you see is Pachamama. She's a, an Incan earth goddess. She's Mama Gaia, really. Plant, garden, harvest. I actually feel that you've perhaps done the planting, you've done the gardening. It's almost like a harvest time now as the seed or the butterfly undergoes the transformation and becomes what it was born to be. I think you will benefit from going outside and connecting with nature, uh, particularly greenery, green nature, so forests, woods, mountains. That's my intention for today, actually. I haven't been outside and had enough fresh air. Um, after I've done this reading, I'm going to take a really nice salt bath. Um, I'm going to put the dog in the car, write a shopping list, um, take the dog on a nice forest walk, get the shopping on the way back and come home and just cook myself some nutritious food and be nice to myself. That leads me on really nicely to this next card, so self-care is important. You have here true love. It's a card from the energy suit. So you do need to love and nurture yourself. You can see the back of a girl who is seeing her reflection through a mirror or through a portal. So you may be seeing this change, this transformation. You may be seeing yourself through new eyes. But it's particularly important at the moment, pile one to show yourself some self-love and some self-care. Interesting that she's wearing uh, a red dress, um, red being a symbol of romance and love. It's about loving yourself first as you are going through this metamorphosis, as you are reconnecting 
as you are re-emerging, slightly changed. I'm not sure if the girl in the mirror is holding uh, a red flower. It looks like a poppy or a leaf. But in either way, in either case, I'm looking carefully now. I think it's a poppy. I really think it's a poppy. Um, so something to do here with blooming and poppies appear in spring fields, cornfields. So connected with nature and nature coming alive and plant and garden, garden and harvest. You might be feeling this. The world's waking up after the long dark sleep um, type energy. There are also ferns on the image. Yeah, re, I said this, this is reconnection with self. And it is spiritual because you have the Hierophant. Not a male, not a Pope type figure here. Female figure, quite like the magician, drawing her power from the moon. We've got these wings. So wings are important on two of the cards. As are perhaps flowers and nature. I love the colours here. sort of um, a whitey silvery grey that's the energy perhaps you're you're in at the moment it, it's quite spiritual feel that you are psychically protected you have this beautiful golden sun moon behind you very high priestess energy in any case silver and gold sort of very pure, very pure energy. Uh, I feel you may feel more spiritually connected. And as I'm saying that, and I'm looking at all of the things that she has on her stone altar. So you may be connected to spiritual practices more. What I was noticing were these golden wedding rings here. Um, a reconnection, a rededication, a reuniting, I think, with spirit. We've got a light here, air, cups, earth with the crystals, air also with the feather and the quill, fire, possibly in this little golden vial here. I want to say drawing down the moon, but working with moon cycles, working with natural rhythms and cycles, I think, but definitely, definitely a spiritual upgrade. And it's happening quite quickly because you've got the chariot here. I think that whilst you might have been feeling stagnant and stuck, you may also have been feeling that you've been playing bop it or trying to corral these wild horses um, and energy is being scattered. Here, interestingly, we've got the solar plexus, the light shining from the solar plexus. So I, I again, um, just re-energized and it's almost effortless. I'm going to mix my metaphors, but all these ducks, <laughs> all these horses are now in a row and they're now running in the direction that you want them to go. So a sense of moving forward and life, life moving again. And then a really beautiful card to finish on. You've got three of cups, which is complete sort of happiness and a time of celebration. I love the fact that this is so earthy. It's such an earthy three of cups. And we do appear to have a family here together, celebrating the good times, 
we've got harvest, we've got abundance, we've got plenty of good, nutritious food. I talked about myself going shopping, so nutritious food, we've got fruits and vegetables, we've got fish, we've got meat. Um, we appear to have, I think there's a, a hard rock of salt on here. But we appear to have food from all of the all of the food groups and these people are really happy so that's the message that i think spirit has for you if you have not been feeling yourself if you've been feeling stuck and stagnant and in the goo going through it that's going. You can help yourself by reconnecting to earth. You can help yourself by deepening your spiritual path and your spiritual practices. But I think this self-love, this true love, um, reconnecting with self, reconnecting with spirit is just going to make you feel so much more aligned and able to move forward where you felt stuck. And to be able to move forward effortlessly, perhaps juggling a number of elements. Pile number one. That was your brief message from Spirit. Brightest blessings, pile number one. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the smoky quartz and the card with the green the pile with the green card on top, then this is your reading. I'll lay them out in the order that they are now. Ah, you've got one extra. Let's go with them in this order. Okay, so a brief message from Spirit for you, pile number two. Before I start, just a reminder that I'm still doing my readers free giveaway. Once I reach 500 subscribers, I think I'm about 90 off now, I will be offering a free reading to anybody who's subscribed. So to be in with a chance of winning, all you need to do is drop me a heart, a comment, make sure you're subscribed and I will choose at random from any one of my past readings um, a name and you'll win a free reading with me. It'd be easier if you follow me also on my Facebook page. It makes it easier for me to message and contact you that way but that's not necessary. Um, I can make any announcement on on this site. Okay so what is your brief message from Spirit? Mm. There's a lot going on here and it's quite mixed. I'm not going to start with the fool. I want to start here. Yeah. Okay. This may be the energy that you've been feeling in fear. We've got a woman in this beautiful black dress holding her hand, looking anxious, on a cliff edge, looking out to sea. Behind her we've got a grey sky and sort of storm clouds, but in front is blue sky. We've also got over here this, this beautiful walled city. She's standing on the edge of change and transformation, the fool. I think you felt the calling. You look at this fool here, 
doesn't look like any conventional fool. It looks like an angel or a fairy blowing a trumpet. You've heard the call. You know it's time to get unstuck. I think you know it's time to make changes, to stop repeating cycles. And you've got, it's a number five, and five is the energy of change. Feel the fear, but do it anyway. Take the jump, take the leap, make the move. Because it will lead to healing. It will lead to transformation and change. Look, it's number eight, and the eight's the sort of infinity sign. You, I almost feel the minute that you've taken the le leap, the minute that you've faced your fear, and done what you're finding difficult to do, the healing, the sense of well-being will be almost instantaneous. Because you are being called, you've heard this call, you know you need to make the change and it's very magical, very spiritual change. So, What's your brief message from spirit? It's time to get unstuck. It's time to listen to your intuition. It's time to listen to your calling. And I think it's a, a fairly spiritual healing call. I think by facing this fear, you will perhaps not just only heal yourself, but possibly others around you. And I'm going to jump around because you've got focus on children, pregnancy, birth, adoption. This may very well be literal, but it's about connecting with children, possibly your own inner child. Grandchildren, nieces, nephews, if you don't have your own children. But this card comes from the Jamaican culture where childbearing is seen, uh, not childbearing, childrearing is seen as a role of the wider community. Um, you've got the queen of emotions and you've got the high priestess, you've got healing. So I think you are being called to be open hearted. And that's the donkey. Be open hearted. And possibly the path to healing might be in caring and nurturing for others, particularly children. So the donkey, just so beautiful and graceful and the light going straight to the donkey's heart. Keep your heart open no matter what. Being in an energy of fear can make us feel blocked and closed off and out of touch with our heart. With this focus on children, this loving, this open heartedness, this nurturing. The message from spirit is to keep an open heart. The donkey, just so humble and loving and gentle. It's a really, really gentle energy with this card. Be gentle to yourself as you're going through this change. And that's funny. Um, if you listened to the introduction, I did talk about not being sure what to title this and wanting to perhaps do it around change because I felt energetically there's quite a big change around at the moment. And this message is, we really need to get rid of this fear energy and step into the healing and the open heartedness and listen to the call. Both of these characters here and the high priestess are dressed in white. That's three female figures dressed in white and one dressed in black. And interestingly, on each card there is a female, a 
obviously not the animal card, but on, on all of the other cards, there is a, a female. So you do need to step into that divine feminine receptive energy. And accept. So feminine energy is receptive. It's about receiving. Possibly you yourself receiving this unconditional love, love and nurture and cherish yourself as you would a baby. But I do genuinely believe that being around children, being open hearted and loving is a way to help you work through the fear. You may be considering having a child but be fearful about it and the changes that it's bringing you've got the queen of emotion and as i lifted her up i saw this third female up here in this white dress you may be called to wear white actually a queen of emotions is all about heart, open heart, hearted energy. Interestingly, where we can see the open heart, a little bit higher than the heart, and the blue colours of the throat chakra, which may be becoming unblocked by talking about your fear or exploring your fear. We've got this lotus-like headdress and the majority of the Queen of Cups is under the water, but she's emerging. She's worked, I think, through the feelings, through the fear. And she's emerging from this black and white into a world of colour and feeling all of the emotions instead of submerging them. Water, you've got the sea here, we've got the sea here, we've got the sea here, possibly salt baths, going to the sea, but swimming in the waters of your emotion, feeling the feelings, feeling the fear, but taking the leap anyway, going on the fool's journey, turning fear into excitement and love because it is a spiritual journey. And as I say that, you've got the high priestess here. Here she is between the two trees acting as the pillars she is a, a seer, she's a seeker, she's a sequira, sequon, I can't remember the Viking name. But she has been scrying, casting omens, reading the magic in the spell. She walks in the two worlds, the spirit realm and the human realm. And possibly that's what's causing you the fear. Um, I think the message from Spirit is that you are here to do an awful lot of good in the world simply by loving, by radiating your radiating your light, your heart, possibly by, by touch, the way the woman is cradling the child. It's a beautiful energy. It's a spiritual healing energy. And I think the message from spirit here, this brief message from spirit is the healing light is here. It is coming, but you are going to need to take a leap. Fools possibly rushing in where angels fear to tread. Well, you're not rushing in. I think you stood on this precipice for a long time. 
change is coming and it will be so much easier for you if you take the leap, if you take the step, even yourself. Rather than being pushed. Behind her is this enormous spirit animal, I can't see it very well in the camera, its head's here, of a buffalo or a bison. Spirit would like you to know that you have enormous protection, enormous strength around you as you are taking this step. She's actually taking a step. All of them. This woman appears to be moving forward, taking a step, holding out this healing light. The fool is moving forwards. Take the step, pile number two. And that has been your brief message from Spirit. I hope it's been helpful. Be brave, pile number two. Hello, pile number three. If you chose this blue chip and the blue card, then this is your reading. Before I begin and start to lay out the cards, I am still doing my free reader giveaway. So if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning a free reading with me, once I reach 500 subscribers, all you need to do is make sure you're subscribed and you've left me a comment or a heart uh, in the comments box. I'd also appreciate a like and a share. Okay, I might end up jiggling the order of these cards. Let's see. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, that feels right. Okay. Look at this. I talked in the introduction about feeling it was time of change and not knowing what to title this reading and messing about with titles and getting all stuck. But change is here anyway. Awaken your inner shaman that you may have shut down, you may have closed down, you may not have been feeling particularly tapped into your gifts. Alternatively, these gifts may be coming to you for the first time. This is ritual. This is the Inuit community. This is ritual. Dance, fire, drumming, music, move your body, shake things up a bit. No, there's no, there's no more sense of fire, although you have got the six of wands. Oh, you've got the ace of wands. So yeah, yeah, maybe fire sign energy. And you've got the queen of air as well. And then the raven is air. So this is quite a, a masculine energy. It's a male shaman here. Uh, shaman don't have to be males. But this is... Um, your message from spirit is to connect more deeply with spirit and your spiritual practices. You've got this raven here, um, connected as a spirit animal. Um, I, I don't know why I shy away from saying the word witch because I think I self-identify as a witch. But every time I go to say the word witch on here, I, I hesitate. But 
ravens are connected to witchcraft and to omens as well as the the dark raven we've almost got the white spirit raven there might be something here about dreams and omens and astral travel because you've got somebody the shaman is deliberately connecting with ritualistic practice for spiritual purposes the raven says prepare for change it is coming change is coming the word change is on here the word connect is on here you've got heal you've got peace you've got inspiration i almost feel like the words the key words on the card awaken um are all giving you messages pile number three i wasn't aware as i moved the cards around but the queen of air has this snowy white owl we've got the snowy raven we've got these two snowy doves on here birds watch out for birds birds might be a, be bearing a message from spirit when you see birds an unusual bird in nature or a particular group or a flock of birds or you, you hear a bird call that might be important think about try and think about what you're saying what you're doing at the time that you you notice these birds this most beautiful queen of air or queen of swords she is listening she almost reminds me of a goddess here who which goddesses work with the owl I don't think it's Artemis. I can't think. In any case, look at the size of this snowy owl and the interconnectedness. Owls are a sign of wisdom. The Queen of Swords is nobody's fool. Listen to your intuition. I see this owl as spirit, as a spirit guide. You might, I may have may be called to work with birds as a spirit guide at the moment but you are feathers she's wearing feathers we've got the swans you are, you are the, the message from spirit is i think you are spiritually gifted and now is the time to awaken, reawaken if necessary, come back on board, come back online, prepare for change. That's the message from the raven, change is coming. That's the central message that spirit wants to give you. And when you allow these messages, when you connect, it will be very healing for you and it will bring you a great sense of peace. Oh, she's in this beautiful pale pink dress, sort of pure heart love all over this card, floating up on this rope swing, in these beautiful rosy tipped clouds maybe something to do with connecting to a divine partner and divine relationship because we've got a pair of swans here and swans mate for life and they are connected to romance there's also this beautiful white balloon floating here i think your brief message from spirit is by awakening your inner shaman, by listening to the omens, by watching for the signs, by employing your intuition, you will feel more peaceful, more at home. And your two 
other two tarot cards I've got here. Maybe I should have read this first because this is another card of omens. We've got a seeker here. He's been consulting the books. He's probably been casting the runes. We've got the rainbow. He's received enlightenment. Eight of wands. He knows where he's going. He's now not looking at the book. He's looking up. He's He's read the omens. He now knows which is his true north, which direction he's heading in. And this will lead you not only to peace, but your final card to victory. You've got the six of wands. Often you have a, a man on a horse, um, being lauded by the townspeople and on his wand he has the victor's wreath where you've got this star shining above you you now know where you're going and where you're headed and that's towards success if you listen to this intuition and listen to your gifts you will move forward I'm liking the orangey yellows here connecting. We've sort of got peachy colours there. And again, again here. Fire and air are what are on your, your cards. We've got the fire here, the ravens, this bird of air, queen of air, eight of wands usually flying forward eight ones all heading in the same direction it's moving forward looking forward they're all looking forward or looking directly at you and i've just noticed i've put my lovely duck on the table i don't think i've ever put him on the table before he's just beautiful look at the work on him and as i look i caught the the, the beak and these two birds, their heads are in the same position. It's got a slight watermark here. I actually put him facing this way. And I thought, no, 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 he, no. He needs to be here. That's the way he goes. And you've got the raven facing the same way with his beak. But interestingly, the spirit raven, which is sort of flying up, is facing the other way. She's got her back to us, but she's looking straight ahead. Clear vision at this time. Clear, clear vision. So clairvoyancy, actually, because I've been talking about looking for signs, watching for omens. If you embrace your spirituality and deepen your spiritual practices, I think it will bring you a greater sense of peace. You will know the direction that you are heading in and you will become victorious. I don't think, I think the message from Spirit is you haven't got an option to remain where you are. You need to connect, you need to invoke, you need to ask for help and you need to look and listen to the signs. Pile number three, that has been your brief message from Spirit in reading. Blessings to you.